Hi everybody, welcome back to Terra Firm Crash Season 5, Episode 57 with me, Sid, and the last episode, we made that. Which in any other mod pack would have been like, meh. But in this, in Terra Firmacraft, was like, Major League Ball Lake. And, uh, yeah, so, props to me. <laughs> That's what it feels like anyway. It really does, I mean, when it, with, it is funny, but, and it kind of comes back to something I was saying on, um, the, uh, Sky Factory 4 series, which I have recently, I, um, just on the last episode completed um it's done it's finished it's over no <laughs> i kind of really i i needed to cut back so but i am not a fan of things like greg tech because i just don't like micro crafting but the sense of achievement you get with something like terra firma crafting and it's bizarre i can like terra firma craft with a bang 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 at the anvil and um and yet dislike Greg Tech, which seems, I don't know, a little bit counterintuitive, but the sense of achievement you get when you actually do something like this that, you know, takes you f probably best part of 40 to 50 episodes to even get close to having the material wealth and the technological know-how to build is, is actually really surprising. Anyway, I just wanted to put this floor down because this episode, all I want to do is actually make use of that, 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 that there windmill. Um, and to do that, we're going to need to, at the very least, this episode, make a capacitor and some means of transferring the power via wires. And yeah, I mean, it's that that's not as big a job as it seems to be fair i i may be slightly over egging that one but um you know it's, it's not going to be a trivial job and this being terra firma craft it's probably going to be even less than a trivial job and coupled with that is we've more or less wiped out our, our almost our entire copper supply we do have a copper anvil that we've not done anything with yet and that is probably probably going to get melted down um yeah probably so if i were to say i would like some kind of power storage what power storage options do oh, i still got that raw iron in on me as well let me just drop that off and i've got a little bit of pig iron now we need to make steel i could should actually in fact i will one two three four five six take those and I'm going to whack those into the coke oven because I will probably want slightly more steel just getting that feeling that that is a thing that is almost certainly going to be a thing um, and we'll stick the rest of you in there lovely so that's to doing its thing that's doing its thing let me have a look at uh, well let's start off with a capacitor shall we so you've got the LV capacitor, which is relatively cheap, wrought iron sheets, so that's six iron. It's actually not that cheap. Two copper, some of that, uh, and a capacitor base, which is some plates and, uh, wow, nickel and, nickel, Jesus, and ceramic. All right, what's a... RF tools, wrought iron, basic capacitor, I need gold and copper for those to make one, and I need a lot of gold for those, but at least, and a block of redstone which is just a standard thing, but at least that is things, and that actually is a better option than that. It's, it's easier, albeit more intensive on gold, but easier than that and ultimately it would be also upgradable um, although i don't know whether we're going to need vast quantities of rf it's very difficult to tell um, when you're looking at packs like this so that's the thing now the other thing i also need to do is i need to sort out some um, lava 
uh, and if I remember, if I refresh my map a little bit, we, if I remember rightly, the nearest lava is up here, I think, which is a fair old hike away, but there's lots of it, so it's not a problem. Uh, I'm not aware of any other lava pools that I remember passing nearer to home, which is a shame. Now, there is apparently lava going if you go straight down but I need to um, a I'm not sure about that and B I'm not sure about that so that's a thing um how am I for gold 25 so one two three four one two three four and a bit yeah we've got like three ingots which we need four per to make a basic capacitor. I need fine gold and I need to I need to mine. Realistically, I, I need to get out there and do some mining because this is looking a little bit pathetic for a great many material types. Um hmm. Yeah. Right, let me uh, let me sleep, and we'll see what we're going to do. I'll be back in a moment. All right, a little bit of quick blacksmithing later, and uh, we can pop that away. Could do with a stick, actually, but that's fine. We'll go and f sort that out. And we are going on a road trip. Well, boat trip, actually, but we're going to head out and grab some lava. I've got, um, well... Let me just show you. Uh, give me a stick. Sticky stick, thank you. One stick, two sticks, three sticks. There we go. Extra bonus on the smithing bonus there. It's a good, solid, functional axe. Now, I've not done anything with this. Uh, and I would like to drop those off. And then if I come over here, um, I have got two more seared tanks and that particular seared tank, which, you know contains some lava so I'm not gonna be able to fill it fully up. Um so we're gonna head out we're gonna head out. I know it's not ideal timing but we have got a fair old distance to go so we should be uh if I can manage to steer myself around here we should be good to uh head over and start heading up to where the lava is now from there i would like to try and find some gold and some copper now, we've got a gold mine nearby to us um my my philosophy in this is that if i can find the stuff that's further away and then exploit it then it's better to deal with that in the first instance just because it it is further away and you know should i want gold in three or ten or fifteen episodes times having the stuff that's local still there is a lot better um so from here we are going to sail all the way up here uh and over to here but yeah and we'll we'll probably take an opportunity to explore a little bit up that direction and see how we go so yeah see how we go that's kind of a probably going to be a bit of a theme in it see how we go but i want to really come back with a full inventory of ores from this one um we have been altogether far too lax in our ore collection and uh yeah it's uh, about time we got out there did some mining did some digging out and we have just hit I've lost my... Where's my boat? What the hell was that? That feels like it was a hungry node. Now, question. How wise... There must be be a hungry node somewhere in that general vicinity that is the only explanation i can think of which is not good because i come past this way 
I'm surprised I've not seen it before because I can pass this way quite regular unless it's deteriorated. I don't even know if it's possible for a hungry node to deteriorate and uh, form like that, but it seems like it might be a thing, maybe, perhaps. Anyway, no harm done. We are regenerating our hit points and we will get to eat in a moment and yada yada yada. So uh, I will continue on and I will come back when we get to our destination. Yeah, we're alright. We found some bell peppers and there's always animals to entertain with the prospects of becoming ready meals. Um, yeah, we're not we're not shy of food in the area. What we are shy of is any useful or meaningful ore. So far I've just found some galana and a little bit of sphalerite trace. Neither of which are overly useful. Um, carrots over there, right under that spidery tree. But we can grab these, these will uh, see us some way along the way. That is, yeah, that's a bell pepper as well. So, stack them all together and continue onwards. So, I always like, as you as you probably gathered, I like these large mountain range areas because they tend to expose ore veins, and if you get an exposed ore vein, that's you know easy, easy winnings. Um, doesn't always work out though, and when you do get them, that it's usually, especially with Thorncraft in there, there's like so much amber, it's. Uh, it's often beyond silly. What are you? Lettuce. Uh, you're not ripe. You're mature though. As are you. I don't know whether I've got any lettuce seeds actually. So that's not a bad thing. And yeah. So, uh, well, I'll be back in a bit. We okay, found a good vein of 25 quality surface bismuth. Uh, there's some 35 quality bismuth just over there, along with a whole load of coal. Um, I'm not in the market for bismuth and coal right now. Even though I said I was going to try and fill my inventory, I realised that just filling it with the first thing I come to is is going to be counterproductive. I I really do need that gold. And I really do need copper. Copper isn't a major issue. We have got it close to hand at base. We have got also that gold mine um, fairly close to hand. But I really would like to try and find another half decent source. And that is a ravine and a half. Uh, cinnabar. Plenty of cinnabar down there. But not a lot of anything else. Um... Yeah, that was a big ravine. That is a chunky old ravine. Uh, needs a little bit of a investigate, I'm sure. There's another big chunky ravine over there, and there is some grain over there, which I've I picked up a little bit of maize. So we've we've managed to provision ourselves fairly well off the land, actually. So I'm not too disappointed at that. Um, what I am disappointed in is our ability to find any meaningful or veins of anything except coal really and a, a little bit of bismuth which is um, a little disconcerting lots of animals around so we're we're fine for that and uh, we also know there are some big big old holes in the ground to be things that's nowhere near ready okay but it will be so we might pop back, pass back this one. Air shards, okay. Not seeing where they are, but there's definitely. We'll stick them down as a as a possible, and continue with the look. Ah, there's some more grain. Good. Uh, and water, actually. So we'll we'll top off here while we're at it. Yeah, it's um, 
proving not to be as readily the materials that I want are proving to be awkward and it is a it is a fact for me that damn you um, that we have often you know where any series any season of TFC there's always that great white whale of an oar there's always one oar which turns out to be my white whale and uh, Looking like gold might be the... What the hell? That was a bit of lag. <laughs> yeah, it's looking definitely like gold could... Be my uh, thing. We've also started to get some lag. I may need to do a... TFC has always had this. Um, this is like a memory leak almost that... Builds up over time. The more you explore the more problematic it becomes and you'll end up with these massive rubber bands the sun will just go back vast distances <laughs> uh, okay that's nice uh, limonite question mark not particularly useful but you know it's nice to know that there is a possibility of limonite out here and uh, we are actually fairly hefty, fairly, fairly up north now. Uh, I definitely see more lava. Uh, platinum here would be useful if we were closer to things. That's a Thorncraft dungeon. And, uh, well, I'm going to keep on hunting around. There's a nice big range of mountains around here, so I will be back in a bit. Well, this area has got to be said, this is some gnarly terrain. Um, I mean, it is totally twisted it is almost impossible to navigate around the rivers in here and everything are just insane now there is a, a bad news bear there um, I'm not gonna kill it because I don't need to but I have decided that I'm gonna head back um, the reason for this is twofold this pick of mine the Thinker's Construct pick, which is iron-headed, doesn't seem to be able to mine certain ores, like tungsten. Now, I could definitely mine tungsten with my other iron pick, my, my TFC pick. So, that to me suggests that there's an issue with the Tinker's Construct stuff. We've we found one issue, and that obviously is with the um, with the da, 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 the hatchet not bringing trees down, which you know is somehow not unexpected. We are just going to log out a lag, aren't we? I can feel it. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! This is the danger when you when you do that, and it's suddenly like when you're off. Um, so yeah i think we've got some issues with with tinker's construct not really integrating with this pack as well as we would like um i'm going to try and steal head on it that's the, on the pick and that's my plan i am also going to uh i think try and pull over somewhere let's just go for this if i can get in here i don't know whether we can get in before it becomes hazardous to our health to stop and try and sleep the night but uh, we'll go for it and then I'm going to do a quick relog I think and we'll continue on home um, you know as we can there's some bismuth there look mm. Can't quite make out the quality from here. Ah, uh, no. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's bismuth. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when we get back. All right, we are about halfway back. Um, we've come, I've just come over here. As I, I, I spotted that this was kind of rising up in this area. And uh, I thought, yeah, that looks like it might be... Um, becoming mountainous so 
given the area you're in, it would be wrong not to try it out now. Really? Thank you. Well, it's poor, so... Uh, poor fire shards. Doesn't matter that they're poor, but, you know... I would prefer to find some rich fire shards. Preferably, you know, like a bit of a sugar daddy of fire shards, if you like. No, behave myself. Um, so, before I came back on and continued the journey here, I decided just to check out what was going on with this pickaxe. Um, so, I copied the world and created a created copy of the world and went over to some uh, cobalt ore and try to attack it with my iron pick and sure enough can't mine it even though it claims to be manulin level mining it isn't um fire shards are everywhere here aren't they wow oh that's uh, that's bauxite down there as well okay Anyway, um, so no test is complete without testing all of the uh, various, you know, permutations. So I, I tried it with a iron Tinker's pick and an iron TFC pick. The TFC pick could actually mine it. And... So, for example, that's not a problem. Uh, it'll do the bauxite. Bauxite, obviously, will become aluminium. Aluminium can be used to make, well, things. Um, not entirely sure, you know, stuff. Things that you will need. Uh, and we can make aluminite, which will cast into aluminite tool rods and other various things that uh, has a mining level one higher which is steel incidentally so anyway i tried steel um, i'm going to put down here a uh, surface bauxite and sure enough the tinkers could not mine it uh, again you know that is a thing so we have now got Tinker's Chaos. Um, surface Chaos Shards. I don't know what quality they are. I'm not going to mine it because that's the only one I can see. But they're in the area because we can see there's that going on. I am also hungry so we should probably eat. So long story short... I then tried it with a Tinker's, oh hello, a Tinker's um, blue steel, sorry red steel, and also a manual in. And both could mine them equally. So, the practical upshot from this is, I can see more of it over there, that's good. Um, And there's sheeps in the area as well. Excellent. Uh, the practical upshot of this is we need to go back home and get ourselves a proper pick, an iron or steel pick, um, because that will mine pretty much anything it throws. So if we get the cobalt and the ardite, then we can make a manual in Tinker's pick, which will also mine more or less anything we throw Oops, at it. And that is a good thing so we are going to head back and we're going to start off by grabbing our a, a tfc pick what is that looks like jet or coal coal okay nice surface coal 
yeah, we're going to head back. We're going to get ourselves a proper pick. We are then going to head out and grab some Ardite and some Cobalt, enough to make a Tinker's Construct um, pig head, which is basically one ingot. And with that, we should then be able to not get incinerated alive in the lava. Um, yeah, we should be in a position to actually mine anything we come across when we come out into the wild because at the moment we've kind of hit a block with that and uh yeah look at that i haven't seen any water shards yet that's um one we're missing and we haven't seen any order shards either i i don't believe but from here, it should be a straight sail, straight back down to home, which is round and down. Trying to avoid the hungry node that tried to eat us last time, so that should be fairly straightforward. Uh, we'll have a little bit of fruit to see us on our way, and uh, I will see you when we get back there. All right, we are about home. I've just skirted wide of that potential hungry node. Um, I don't know if it's a hungry node. I just know that something disrupted my boat travel and tried to damage me. And typically, that would be a hungry node. So, uh, yeah, not taking any chances. We'll crash our boat here. And let us get in and sleep and sort ourselves out and all of those good kind of things and then we can see about making um well i suppose a iron pick head uh, iron would seem to be the obvious one going and getting um some let me just pop you down grab you place you back there Grab some of those and go one, two, three, and we'll sort the food out in the morning. But yeah, we'll uh, we will try and uh, figure out a course of action based on you know what we know, and see if we can't get ourselves to the point where at least when I go out, I can mine the items that I actually want to mine. I should also make some proper food, but I will sort that momentarily. Uh, I think with the exception of grain, we're pretty good actually. And I've got some seeds in my uh, back barrel, so that's the thing. But first things first, we need to drop off this little bit of crap. Uh, we need to go over here and grab a wrought iron ingot and pop it into there with a whole bunch of that and give it, oops, give it a little light. And that can be heating while I sort myself out. So I'll be back in a second. All right, we've got some food going. We've uh, now got a pick head which gives me a wrought iron pick. Now I know that this will need to be repaired before I can replace the header, or at least I'm, I, I rephrase that, I don't know that, what I, I believe that. Now the other thing I've done is on my mini map is I've turned off all of the waypoints except for the items that are on. Um, so, and I put beacons on it, so I've got a home we can see that that is surface ardite 275 and that is surface cobalt which is a little bit more and it's midday so while we've got the boat out up, let's um take a quick trip over to the surface ardite and see whether we can mine that with a vanilla well a terra firma craft pick because if I can get enough Ardite to make a couple of ingots, actually, because if I can make the sword, well, not necessarily the sword blade in Ardite, but, you know, if I could make the sword, then uh, then that would be, into manually, that would be a good thing. 
because manual in is sharp and good and devastating um, and it kind of skips the entire redstone requirement for having decent weaponry however there is of course well there we here we have ardite um, I'm gonna have that actually it's mine mine is there any more of you kicking around over here while we're while we're being greedy no yes there because that is of course 10 units of ardite I shouldn't sniff it 10 units 10 units of ardite 10 units of ardite might be the difference between making one ingot and two so yeah first rule don't sniff at 10 units of ardite uh, second rule see first rule where is this ardite then around here somewhere <laughs> taking far more effort than uh, it should do to find keep my eyes out for those little nuggets of, uh, of, of Ardite goodness. There it is. Okay. Question is. I was going to say. Is that the only. Thing now. Can we mine it. We. Rich cobalt ore. Okay, I ain't going to complain, I suppose. Uh, cobalt can be useful too, after all. Now we need to find out if there is more Ardite in the area. Sorry, or whatever it is. Seeing as we are not in a safe place here, it's got to be said. But sometimes you have to poke just to see what you can find. Like that, there. Oh, and there's a little bit more. Excellent. Right, well, we're going to get cobalt out of it. Now, the question is, and this is a biggie. Because that is now... No, that's an ingot in a bit. Um, and the cobalt's actually a better pick head material anyway. I should be keeping my arm what's above me, really. Hello. Oh, dear. I don't want to leave that especially there when there's things above me that can collapse uh, you know what I didn't do though and that is I didn't bring my bloody bed with me uh, my sleeping bag I, I'm just I'm armed and armoured alright we're going to have to head back and uh, well that will give me a cobalt ingot so, or it should do, cobalt in a bit, I would imagine. So I suppose we could go and see what the effect of a cobalt head on my pick is. Although, does that mean that cobalt is going to drop ardite? That would be very strange. Doesn't matter, however, let me head back and we'll get that tested. Um... Sometimes it is just a matter of testing the uh, world, see what's going on in it. But um, and this is going to be one of those episodes where we we push the boundaries and work out what they are, and see whether we can avoid the the massive grind that is red steel. Yeah, back in a moment. All right, so here we are. We've got that in cobalt ore it will grind down to blue dye which 
actually, I don't know whether we can actually, I mean, that's Lapis by any other name. Um, let me just get back into my uh, inventory and let's go and have a look at you again. And if we look at you in here, apparently you're making Ardite. I don't understand what's going on. Arc Furnace, Smelter, you know what? Have it all. Now, there's only four units of that now, so that's not enough, I don't think, to to be playing with. So we'll we'll leave you where you are. Let's see what we get here. One ingot of cobalt. Okay, I'd like a pickaxe head. I would like to... Damn you. Does not matter. There's only a smidgen of iron. So we'll pop you in there. We'll get you out of there. Now, question. Can I? I can't. Okay. So do I need, therefore, need to go and take a wrought iron? It's the last one I've got. Well, those four are needed for the for the thingy, the hoofer. Um, can I repair you? Apparently not. Place the tool and the material. This is an iron pickaxe. That's raw iron. Why can't I repair you? Okay, what's the damage on it? <sighs> hmm. Interesting. And it has no modifiers left. Was an emerald. A sneaking suspicion that an emerald adds a modifier in this. Now it's it's a strange one. This is 1.7 Tinker's construct, so I'm having to really dredge my memory here. Um, no, if it does, it's not doing it now. Damn you to heck. Uh, we can, however, go in there and there wasted a lot of redstone on that but that's fine we'll live so durability it's got a good old durability on it it's there it is a speed of 25 versus a speed of 24 so imagine what that would have been like if we'd have had the uh, thing now i'm going to pop that in there temporarily along with that and uh I'm going to pop... In fact, I'm going to get you out just a second. Let's see if I have have modifiers available. Modifiers available. What does Emerald do? Oh, it gives you... Oh, it gives you extra durability. Um, that's actually not bad. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll take the uh, the extra durability. It's not a bad modifier to have on it, providing the thing works, uh, as advertised. And, of course, the only way to find that out is to head back out oh, in the boat and try on... Some Ardite, which we couldn't previously mine. So let's. I'm just going to try something cheeky here. I don't know whether it'll work, but we can try it all the same. Uh, can we sail up this river? <laughs> it's probably not going to work. We'll probably end up 
Yeah. Breaking the boat. But that's fine. We're, we're still... Well. Ah, right, there we go. Ah, ah. Right, the Ardite was over this way. Oh, what good. Looks perfectly safe. Perfectly. <laughs> Given the mobs I've seen flowing down this river, that was never ever going to be perfectly safe, by the way. I was just being facetious. Um, okay. Now we managed to collapse quite a bit of of terrain around here um, with that little bit of mining but it doesn't matter right let's try all I need to do is find one ardite block Uh, just to test the cobalt side of things. I am conscious that if that falls on me, it's going to hurt in, you know, the lethal sense of the word. But there has to be more down here. I don't believe for a second that We have found all the stuff that's to be found in this area. Hmm. All right, let me continue looking and I will be right back. And I am right back, as promised. See? Uh, now, we know that this pick here will mine that. This one will not. This one, absolutely no problem whatsoever. So what mining level is that? That's mining level 8. Alright, I ain't going to complain. I am going to uh, not stand around blabbing about it though. So that's 70. I know there's at least one more up there, but I've got no means of getting up there quickly other than I suppose we can just come in here and make a very quick set of scaffolding blocks to get up. Um, I would like to excavate this more thoroughly, but you know, given what, given what we have, you see that coupled with the the one we have should uh, give me enough to perhaps upgrade another tool right there you go and down we go and we need to sleep quickly because it's obviously getting dark and uh, the world is not a uh, favourable place for people who stay awake at night. Yeah, back in a sec. Alright, I am realise I'm running long and uh, I came out here to the surface cobalt. And here, look, cobalt. Or um, there's another one somewhere around over this way, I think. Um, definite traces of cobalt, but this is lapis and not cobalt. That is cobalt. <laughs> How bizarre! We should probably put on here then um, surface lapis as well, shouldn't we? And we'll turn you off. We don't want it on um, right now, but lapis will be the surface lapis is definitely something we will want um when we want to start dyeing things there you are 
I see you, sir. So, here's a question. If I manage to mine Ardite... Really? 25 units of Cobalt. And not a lot more, by the looks of it. Oh, hello. Flawless Jade, we'll take it. What I would like to know is if there is more cobalt to be had. And it doesn't look that way. So it looks like we come out all the way out of here for and it's it's pretty poor anyway, so let us come to here and we shall remove that one. Um, I am over time, so we're probably going to call this here. I was hoping to get to the point where I could make manual in, but um, yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I will take whatever little smidges of cobalt we can find, which is not going to be a lot, but you know, uh, we'll have a quick numb on some food, we'll head back and next episode we'll continue down this exploration of materials and hopefully get the materials necessary to actually build a capacitor, um, which is what I wanted to do this episode before everything failed. So yeah, that's it. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. And bye for now.